this is my first actual YouTube video where I'm doing something on purpose without trying to be an asshole. So what I have here is an unboxing video, Anima Tactics. I just got these in the mail this evening. Ah, they were waiting for me when I got home. So I've got two factions here, the Light Faction Starter Box and the Dark Faction Starter Box. The artwork looks pretty cool. Um, I'd be doing this with one hand, so bear with me. So the back of the box has more artwork. Some very interesting minis look like they're in the box. So it looks like we have Cheshire and Bale. And we have some information, Anima Tactics, Fast Pace, Skirmish Game. And let's see what we've got on the other box. We've got Cronin Roxon and Saint Evangeline. So far, the artwork looks really cool. The minis look amazing. So, these should be really fun to paint up. Um, I am by no means a good painter, but I've gotten to the point where I am decent. And people that don't know any better say they like my stuff. So, there's that. So, I'm trying to do this with one hand because my tripod stand hasn't arrived yet. But I'm going to go ahead and open the Dark Faction starter box first. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. And the boxes are really nice. Very minimal packaging. It's very cool. Um, they're simple little tuck boxes. So let me see if I can get this with one hand. I know, I know, everyone hates unboxing videos, because we're just going to see what's in the box. But, uh, so this is the, uh, you know, the inner box. should have shown you that first, sorry. Cypher Studios. It's got some very simplistic artwork. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Doctor Who with the Gallifrey writing. Alright, let's see what we've got here. The Quick Start Rulebook, which I'll unfold. Oh, it doesn't unfold. Actually, it is literally a rulebook that's tiny. It's got some artwork on the back. Uh, it's got some artwork on the inside. Let you know some of the things that are coming out. Give that a second to focus. So it is, it's kind of interesting. Uh, looks like it's got a couple different languages in here along with English. And we have character cards. So let's see, we've got basic action card. some information. I haven't read all the rules yet, so I'm not sure what a lot of these things mean yet, but uh, we're going to be playing this, and hopefully, uh, well, just a quick little reminder of what everything is. So we've got Bale's card here. We've got stats along the edge here that I do remember. The back of the card. Really great artwork. On these minis. So far the cards are really impressing me. If the minis come out half as good as the cards, I'm going to be freaking blown away. Uh, you might have seen Ebon Star has been working on painting up some of these minis and they look really great. But he can make a really shitty model look really good. So there's that to contend with. So this is kind of cool. And then we have some foam in here. And a D10. 
which is rolling rolling good. I like it. So here we have our first model. Oh, it looks really really good. It looks really nice. Uh, let's bail. That looks good too, and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of mold lines and stuff to smooth out. There's some extra stuff from when the casting was done, but not too much, which is kind of cool. Um, let me get this to go into focus real quick. Yeah, so these, these these should be fun to paint. Hopefully I can get them done in the next couple of days. We got some markers in here and some bases. And that looks to be about it for our dark. So it looks like it's just a regular 33 millimeter base. And everything comes in these little boxes. It's super, super convenient. Super nice, you know, low key, small model count, which is always good. I always like that. Small model count means small price point. Uh, I picked these up on eBay for 12 or not on eBay, I'm sorry, on Amazon for $12 a piece. So, you know, the, the buy-in for this game is super, super low. It's, it's, it's not one of those games where you've got to buy hundreds of models and expect to, to do away, you know, invest a Good portion of your paycheck into it. It's it's got exactly what I was looking for, which is low model count and low price point. So this this box is similar to the other one. The artwork is the same. Cipher Studios, etc. And this is going to be our light faction. So I'm not sure. I'm kind of going to go with the dark faction. I think just because Evan Star and some of the other guys are going to go light, but I think the price point is such that, that it doesn't really matter because it's going to be low enough that I can get into both factions and not really damage the wallet or my relationship with my wife. Uh, so then we have another rule book, which is great because when I try and play this with someone else, we both have something to reference and we don't have to hand stuff back and forth. Alright, so we've got another activation card just to remind you of the sequence and stuff. And modifiers. So we got Cronin Roxon, he's a warrior. That's his card. Again the artwork is, is really really amazing on these. Uh, you know and got some more stuff. There's a lot of cards that come with these. Saint Evangeline, she's a mystic. Wow. But like I said the artwork is just blowing me away. I'm not a hardcore anime fan. Uh, this is reminiscent of anime. Anime. Depending on who you ask. Uh, but this this artwork is, is super amazing. I have, I used to be a, a pretty good fan of anime, but kind of got out of it. This might be enough to draw me back in. And another D10, which is awesome. Rolling pretty good. So, oh, this one comes with many more models. I think. Oh, no, that was my fault. Sorry. Still getting used to doing this one handed, guys. So, here we go. We've got Cronin. Looks like he's got to have his sword put on and one of his hands. But again, like these, this model has very few things that I have to get rid of. Mold lines are non-existent virtually. I just gotta clean it up a little bit from the molding, the casting. And it looks good. Oh my gosh. Look. His, his model is, is super fabulous. Here's his sword. It's gigantic when you compare it to him, but you know, wouldn't be anime without that. Um, let's see. Oh, his hands are actually, just realized that, 
attached to the sword. Which will make attaching it that much easier. Huh. Who knew? I might pin these just for the sake of, of pinning them. Um, looks like Evangeline's hands are also a separate piece, and they're carrying a dove, which is, which is kind of nice. Some of you guys that are, are better at the names might correct me later on. That's fine. Just leave it in the comments. But so we got some bases and some more markers, which is cool. So yeah. So this is my unboxing video. I'm going to try and edit this up so it's a little bit. So I'm going to try and get it to about 8 minutes. Um, if you've got any suggestions or questions about this, I'm going to be playing this with, again, I said the Ebon Star. Um, his channel is really fabulous and super inspiring. If you want to get into gaming or know about painting or any of that stuff, he, he has a lot of good advice and he's always there to answer questions. But uh, when we do our battle report, uh, we'll post it up. And I'll have him link it to my page, so that way we can, you guys can kind of see what's going on from both angles. Um, and you know, we, I should have this painted up and ready to go by uh, Strategicon, um, which is going to be in a few days. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, forgot to put his sword away. Happy gaming, and you know, may the dice always roll in your favor. Thank you.